why you think it's possible that it came from some other intelligent civilization. Right. So I'm a scientist, and uh, I basically follow the evidence, just like Sherlock Holmes, trying to find <laughs> solutions. It's a detective story. You have some anomalies, some things that don't quite match what you expected, and you're trying to find an explanation. For 47 years, NASA's Voyager 1 has been our most distant ambassador to the stars. But since March, something extraordinary has happened. The spacecraft began transmitting corrupted, seemingly random data streams that left NASA engineers completely baffled. Until now, the Majorana 1 quantum computing chip has just decoded what appears to be an artificial message hidden within Voyager 1's corrupted data. This isn't a glitch or system failure. For the first time, quantum computing has revealed what might be an intelligent message embedded in deep space telemetry. Let that sink in. A spacecraft 14.5 billion miles from Earth is suddenly sending signals containing structured information that was invisible to conventional computing systems. NASA scientists are stunned by the implications. This could potentially be the first evidence of non-human intelligence interacting with our technology at the edge of interstellar space. The discovery challenges everything we thought we knew about Voyager's journey and what might be waiting for us beyond our solar system. When NASA first detected the anomalous signals in March, they appeared as complete gibberish. Conventional analysis showed nothing but noise, random fluctuations and garbled data packets that made absolutely no sense. The engineering team initially suspected hardware degradation, which would be expected for a spacecraft launched in 1977. Here's what the raw data looked like, seemingly random sequences with no discernible pattern. Engineers tried every traditional decoding method in NASA's arsenal, but nothing worked. The signals continued growing stronger and more frequent, defying explanation. That's when JPL scientists turned to quantum computing. The Majorana one chip processes information fundamentally differently, analyzing millions of potential data relationships simultaneously instead of sequentially. When applied to Voyager's corrupted transmissions, something astonishing happened. This visualization shows the transformation. What appears as random noise suddenly reveals distinct geometric patterns when processed through quantum algorithms. The signal contains precise mathematical sequences that repeat with variations. Hallmarks of intentional communication, not random interference. The breakthrough came when the quantum system identified a specific 127-bit sequence repeating throughout the noise. This sequence, when mapped visually, forms complex geometric patterns that couldn't possibly occur naturally. The moment scientists saw this structure emerge from the chaos, everything changed. This wasn't just a glitch, it was a message. But what's actually in this message is even more mind-blowing. The sequence contains embedded mathematical constants not used in Voyager's programming, arranged in ways that suggest deliberate encoding. Brian Cox previously theorized that quantum computing might reveal hidden patterns in astronomical data too subtle for conventional analysis. But nobody expected it would uncover something like this. The full decoding is still underway, but early results point to something that defies conventional explanation. Subscribe now for space discoveries you won't hear anywhere else. The decoded message contains something extraordinary, a precise mathematical sequence unlike anything in Voyager's programming. At its core is a series of prime numbers, followed by mathematical constants arranged in a specific pattern. The sequence begins with the first 10 prime numbers, then transitions to what appears to be coordinates expressed through mathematical ratios. Most striking is the presence of geometric instructions that when rendered visually, create a three-dimensional spiral structure with embedded symbols. These symbols follow a coherent pattern suggesting a form of language or mathematical notation advanced beyond our current understanding. The quantum analysis revealed something even more shocking. Embedded within the message are representations of fundamental physical constants, like the fine structure constant and Planck's constant, but with slight variations from our measured values. These variations aren't random. They form their own pattern, potentially conveying additional information. Here's why this can't be equipment failure. The signal contains mathematical sequences that weren't programmed into Voyager. The spacecraft simply doesn't have the computational capacity to generate these complex patterns spontaneously. The message includes mathematical relationships that would require intentional encoding. 
Noise and interference follow predictable patterns of randomness. This signal defies those patterns completely. Statistical analysis places the probability of this sequence occurring naturally at less than 1 in 10 to the power of 87. Essentially impossible. The quantum pattern recognition methods used to identify the signal were developed from Michio Kaku's groundbreaking research on detecting intelligent patterns in cosmic background radiation. His algorithms specifically differentiate between natural phenomena and potentially engineered signals by identifying mathematical structures that don't occur in nature. The message also contains what appears to be a response to information encoded on Voyager's golden record, specifically referencing the mathematical and scientific information included on the disk intended for extraterrestrial civilizations. But where exactly is this message coming from? The answer challenges everything we thought we knew about Voyager's journey. The signal strength and characteristics don't match what we'd expect if Voyager itself were simply malfunctioning. Something or someone appears to be using Voyager as a communication relay. The question is, who or what is on the other end? Scientists are now grappling with three major theories about where this message is coming from. The first theory suggests an external intelligence is intercepting and modifying Voyager's signals before they reach Earth. Supporting this idea is the fact that signal strength hasn't changed despite the message complexity increasing dramatically. The transmission characteristics remain consistent with Voyager's hardware capabilities, suggesting something is piggybacking on the existing communication channel. The challenge with this theory? It would require an incredibly advanced technology to intercept signals directed specifically toward Earth from 14.5 billion miles away without disrupting the primary transmission? And why choose Voyager 1 specifically when there are other space probes? The second theory proposes that these patterns were actually encoded into Voyager systems from the beginning, a kind of dormant program designed to activate after the spacecraft reached interstellar space. The timing aligns with Voyager's crossing of the heliopause, the boundary where solar influence ends and true interstellar space begins. The evidence? Some of the mathematical sequences contain elements reminiscent of early NASA programming languages. However, this theory struggles to explain the sophisticated nature of the message, which far exceeds 1970s computing capabilities. Former NASA engineers who worked on the original mission have categorically denied any hidden programs were installed. The third and most controversial theory suggests Voyager 1 has actually encountered something in interstellar space potentially an advanced civilization or its technology. The gradual increase in message complexity could indicate an intelligence learning to communicate through our technology. The message's reference to information on Voyager's golden record strongly supports this theory. The counter-argument? Voyager's sensors haven't detected any physical objects nearby, though critics note its sensing equipment wasn't designed to detect all forms of matter or energy. What makes all this even more puzzling is the timing. These signals began precisely when Voyager 1 experienced its most recent communication issues. In February, the spacecraft suddenly began sending garbled telemetry data. NASA initially diagnosed this as a problem with the flight data system, but just as engineers implemented a fix, these new patterns emerged. This coincidence has led some scientists to speculate whether the fix actually unlocks something within Voyager systems or created a communication channel that something else could utilize. What does NASA officially say about this discovery? Their response raises even more questions. The space agency's public statements have been unusually guarded, with significant disagreements emerging between different departments about how to interpret the data. NASA's official statement acknowledges the discovery of unusual data patterns in Voyager 1's transmissions, but stops short of confirming any non-human origin. Their carefully worded press release describes it as a complex signal requiring further analysis, while emphasizing that all spacecraft systems are functioning within expected parameters. Behind this cautious public stance, internal NASA documents obtained exclusively for this report show heated debates between the quantum computing team and senior administration officials. The European Space Agency has taken a bolder position with their Director of Science announcing an emergency allocation of resources to analyze the signal independently. China's space agency, CNSA, has redirected their deep space listening arrays to verify the transmissions. 
While Russia's Roscosmos has called for immediate international cooperation to establish a united scientific response. Within the broader scientific community, the discovery has created unprecedented divisions. The International Astronomical Union convened an emergency session last week where quantum physicists clashed with traditional SETI researchers. The quantum team presented compelling mathematical evidence of non-random patterns, while SETI veterans argued for exhausting all conventional explanations first. Skeptics point to several legitimate concerns. First, the quantum interpretation methods are so new that standard verification protocols don't yet exist. Second, the Majorana one chip's quantum architecture might be creating patterns from noise due to its unique processing methods. Finally, some suggest there could be terrestrial interference sources affecting the original signal before processing. To address these concerns, an unprecedented verification effort is currently underway. Three independent quantum computing teams are analyzing the raw data separately. NASA has activated backup communication channels to Voyager 1 to test alternative pathways. Most significantly, the Deep Space Network has implemented a new isolation protocol to eliminate any possibility of terrestrial signal contamination. The verification team includes specialists from both quantum computing and traditional deep space communication fields, working in parallel to cross-check each other's findings. Their complete analysis is expected within weeks, not months. What do you think this message means? Share your theories in the comments before we reveal what scientists believe is the most likely explanation. If confirmed, this discovery fundamentally transforms the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. For decades, SETI focused on detecting deliberate radio broadcasts aimed at Earth. The Voyager signal suggests something far more sophisticated, intelligent entities capable of intercepting, decoding, and responding to our existing transmissions. This shifts SETI's paradigm from passive listening to analyzing our own space assets for potential responses. The breakthrough has triggered an immediate overhaul of how we process all deep space communications. NASA has already begun implementing quantum analysis protocols for the New Horizons mission, beyond Pluto, and the still operational Voyager 2. The James Webb Space Telescope data is being re-examined using similar quantum algorithms, searching for patterns invisible to conventional computing. Most significantly, the quantum detection method is being retroactively applied to archived data from previous missions. Scientists are reprocessing decades of transmissions from Pioneer, Galileo, and Cassini missions to search for similar patterns that might have gone undetected. The philosophical implications are profound. If verified, this represents the first confirmed contact with non-human intelligence, occurring not through direct communication with Earth, but through interaction with our most distant technological ambassador. It suggests intelligence that recognizes and responds to human technology rather than initiating contact on its own terms. The scientific implications extend beyond astrobiology. The message's mathematical content suggests knowledge of physical constants slightly different from our current understanding, potentially offering insights into fundamental physics. The quantum detection method itself represents a breakthrough in how we process and interpret complex signals. The verification timeline is accelerating rapidly. Within 60 days, the International Consortium will complete their analysis of signal authenticity. Within 90 days, a complete mathematical interpretation of the message content should be finalized. The most ambitious goal is establishing a two-way communication protocol within 120 days if the signal continues. What scientists hope to learn extends far beyond confirming the message's origin. The primary questions focus on the nature of the intelligence behind it. Is it biological, technological, or something beyond our conceptual framework? Does it originate from within our galaxy or beyond? Most importantly, why has it chosen to communicate now, and specifically through Voyager? Neil deGrasse Tyson has called this potential discovery the most significant moment in human scientific history, while cautioning against premature conclusions. He emphasizes that quantum computing represents a fundamentally new way of interrogating reality that might reveal patterns invisible to previous generations of scientists. If this signal is authenticated, Tyson noted in his recent address to the National Academy of Sciences, it doesn't just change astronomy, it transforms our understanding of our place in the cosmos. While Voyager 1's general history is well known, 
few understand the sophisticated engineering that enables its continued operation in interstellar space. The spacecraft's thermoelectric radioisotope generators utilize a unique plutonium 238 decay profile that's actually producing 15% more power than originally calculated, explaining how it maintains signal integrity despite power conservation measures. Voyager's communication system employs Reed Solomon error correction coding with an unusual implementation of convolutional coding at rate one half with constraint length k equals seven. This redundancy system, originally designed to handle solar interference, inadvertently created a signal pattern complexity that conventional analysis methods couldn't fully parse when subjected to interstellar medium effects. The Deep Space Network's recent upgrades to its signal processing matrix use a combining algorithm that synchronizes the phase of signals received at multiple stations, achieving a 7.2 decibel gain improvement over previous methods. This enhanced sensitivity was crucial in detecting the subtle quantum patterns embedded in Voyager's carrier signal. The Majorana 1 quantum chip utilizes topologically protected qubits that maintain coherence 1,000 times longer than previous quantum systems. Its error correction methodology implements a 3D surface code that allows scaling without the decoherence limitations of planar architectures. The chip maintains quantum advantage at operating temperatures of 0.4 Kelvin, significantly higher than previous systems requiring millikelvin environments. Unlike traditional quantum computers that struggle with environmental noise, the Majorana 1's coherence times exceed 900 microseconds due to its novel shielding architecture. This extended coherence enables the implementation of quantum Fourier transforms with 97.8% fidelity across 64 qubits simultaneously. Critical for detecting complex signal patterns, the quantum pattern recognition algorithm, designated QPRA7, employs an entanglement-based search methodology that examines correlation functions across multiple dimensional representations simultaneously. This approach detects non-random patterns by measuring quantum interference effects between potential signal interpretations rather than analyzing the signal directly. The verification protocol implemented for authenticating the Voyager signal includes an unprecedented 17-step process involving quantum simulation of Voyager's entire communication system. This digital twin approach allows scientists to eliminate every known form of signal anomaly by reproducing the exact conditions of interstellar transmission and confirming that the patterns cannot be generated by any known spacecraft subsystem. The quantum decoding of Voyager 1's mysterious signal represents a convergence of humanity's oldest quest and newest technology. As we await final verification, the implications extend far beyond astronomy into questions about our cosmic significance. Whether originating from an intelligence capable of intercepting our spacecraft, an unknown phenomenon at the boundary of interstellar space, or something even more exotic, one certainty remains. Our understanding of what exists in the void between stars has forever changed. The international collaboration analyzing these signals continues round the clock, with major announcements expected within weeks. If communications can be established, humanity may soon engage in its first information exchange with something beyond Earth. Subscribe now before the next cosmic discovery breaks. You won't find these revelations anywhere else.